Given f in terms of x, shown below, sketch the inverse of this. Is it a function? First, let's draw our reflection line, y equals x. Again, it goes right up the middle between the two axes. And we know that the inverse of our function is a reflection around this line. And we can generally visualize what this looks like, but it's always good to specify a few points to anchor our new sketch. So this point here, 0, 1 becomes, well, we remember that we switch the x and the y in an inverse. So we have 1, 0. And we can plot it here. And this point here, negative 1, 2, again, switch the x and y, we get 2, negative 1. And we can plot that here. One more. This point here, 1, 2. Again, switch the x and y, and we have 2, 1, and we can plot that right here. We note that there aren't any invariant points in this example. That is, the graph doesn't touch the reflection line. So, with our three points plotted and the general shape, we can sketch our inverse relation. Now, we were also asked if the result is a function. Well, let's consider our vertical line test. We can touch the curve more than once at multiple locations here, and therefore, while the original f in terms of x was a function, the inverse is not a function.